Okay, YouTube, got a quick one for you today. Um, talking about these SDR switches that you can get pretty cheap on Amazon. They're basically a copy of the MFJ SDR switch. Uh, but not only are they cheaper, they're also widely available. So you can get them uh, when you need them. I, haven't, I never found a MFJ in stock. Um, I've been happy with mine so far, other than when I first got it, it just comes bare in a box with a couple connectors and absolutely no documentation. Uh, so it did, uh, did take quite a bit of web searching to find some schematics, uh, some wiring diagrams, and then some research on my 991 to look at the um, basically the connector on the back. There's a mini DIN 8 that's used for uh, an amplifier that has push to talk signals on it and a 12 volt out to it. So I power the unit and push to talk signals to the SDR. Um, and that will switch between my SDR and, and my radio. Basically it switches off um, the SDR so that when I'm transmitting on the radio, I don't blow out the receiver uh, on my SDR. Um, I just did get the second one because uh, I got an SDR Duo. This is the twin receiver uh, SDR unit from SDR Play. And I'm going to be playing with some diversity tuning, so I'll have two different antennas uh, coming in. But they do recommend a second SDR switch just if the antennas are close enough that you don't feed back from one antenna into the second and then blow out my second receiver on the, on the SDR Play. So got a second unit here. And I really didn't want to tear apart my patch cable that I made on the DIN, uh, DIN connector. So I started looking at these guys up front, which are audio uh, connectors uh, for switching speakers between an SDR output and then your radio output to a single speaker output. And those are tip ring sleeve connectors. So just as the SDR switches switching the antennas in the back, it's also switching between these audio uh, jacks up front. So the SDR input is normally closed. It's a normally closed connection between SDR and audio out as it sits right now. And then the radio or transmitter connector is normally open um, until the switch is activated, then this will close. So what I did is I took the PTT connector uh, that comes with the SDR, shorted it together. So now tip and sleeve, which is the push to talk signal, same as it's on the back of the SDR switch. I'm going to stick that into the transmit side. You got to shove these in there pretty good because uh, you want to make sure it's all the way in. And then I can just take a normal um, tip ring sleeve patch cord, stick it in the audio out. So when this switch activates, it's basically going to connect this short to the patch cable and the patch cable will transfer it back to the SDR switch. Uh, and now when I hit push to talk, uh, both of them should switch over. So as you see there, they run in tandem. So basically what's happening is my push to talk signal comes into the input of the control module. It switches over the antenna and the audio jacks. And since I have this push to talk signal shorted out here. It's also shorting out the push to talk on the second unit and having that one actuate. So that's as simple as it is. So no need to mess with the patch cord I already had. Um, I'm just gonna supply 12 volts to this guy, uh, run this patch cable back there and maybe clean this up a bit, but I'm done. No messing with that DIN 8 connector. Just thought I'd pass that along, uh, save me some time and um, I never use these audio jacks anyway, and if I wanted to, I still got a second set over here to play with. So that's all I got. Let me know if that works for you guys. See ya.